blue. Welcome to Shadow of Judgment. For any of you who are new or haven't watched this segment before, Shadow of Judgment is where I look at what's going on with you guys for the week. And it is the week of the July 26th to August 2nd. I only remember that because I fucked up with the fire signs and forgot to like say that in the beginning, but that's okay because we're going on. Now what is Shadow of Judgment? This is where I get to look at the underbelly. What's going on in the background? Things you might not know about or are subconscious to. Things that you might even be up to, like your shadow side, the nooks, the crannies, the circles, and each and every corner. Just for the week, just to see what's coming up with you. Right? Right. Now, let's see. Who are we reading for next? We already got Fire, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Y'all are up. And your card is the Hierophant. So I guess Commitment... Establishment, spirituality, religion, community, family, friends, any of that shit. All that stuff that's gathered up, right? Taurus, you're up first. Like, literally, you were. Remind, mind you, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So check your charts, everybody. If it resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, it's just a card game. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it. Let's see, Taurus, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You are slowly but surely making an offer when it comes to some sort of tentative relationship right here, a partnership of sorts. Not entirely love, but it could be. It's just the start of it, after all, with the Two of Cups. Oh, yeah, you're about to take a leap of faith. Ooh, look at that. You're slow to that leap of faith, but it's all good. Oh, but you feel like giving up. Oh, okay. Well, you know, as, as long as we're going that way, it's whatever. Uh, this is, th whatever this is, this connection is too much of a burden. And this leap of faith that... Don't know who that is, but I'm calling as a dick. This person wants to take a leap of faith, but they're also doing it for selfish reasons. Like, it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. Right? You want to give up because you want to look for balance. Like, you want to offer something to somebody so they, like, take that leap of faith to you. But it's like, they're just staring at you like you're stupid. <laughs> um, hmm. Jeez, Taurus. What? Hmm. Something isn't being resurrected. Someone's got to move forward after this relationship. Okay, Taurus, you're weak for the shadow, right? Mm. This might be coming up for you, or you're just going to be dealing with this all around, whichever one you want to look at it for, right? Okay, so you want to make an offer, but you also feel like giving up as well, or you don't want to put up a fight. All you just want is things to be fair, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Because the King of Cups, um, I'm going to stare at you like you're dumb. Uh, he wants to take a leap of faith to work things out, but I feel like this right here is... I, I, don't, I don't like him reverse. I, I never like him reverse. He's being selfish, inconsiderate, just looks at you when you cry, and then acts like, you know, you shouldn't have a reason to cry. Like, what are you crying for? Like, you're getting on my nerves, or some shit like that, right? Like, acts like your feelings don't matter. And then tries to, you know, push that shit away. But they do want to work on stuff, right? They want to work on something. However, with this relationship, as tentative as it is, it's just too much of a burden, but I don't know if someone's trying to run away to avoid the argument, or if they just are avoiding the conversation completely, because someone, in the end, is going to be leaving this at its beginnings and tentativeness, right? So if you're starting something new with somebody, I feel like they're not going to be as receptive as they should be. I don't know, that's like you and a Scorpio trying to get together, man. Like, I don't know how that would work. Let's see. I feel like there's something more I should look for, so I'm just gonna, like, lay out three and see what they say. Because I don't know which one I want to pick out. Oh, no, I want to know about this can of cups. Like, what the hell is his problem? What's his issue? Well, yeah, I already got that. It, like, definitely is a control freak. Definitely wants things this way. It's looking over at all of this, just being like, eh. Just eh. Um, this is a long time coming with him. Like, someone's examining him. 
Yeah, okay. So this is like kind of a counterpart, like, this is your love, right? He's a dick. She's just trying to have a good time, and it's like, this is going to take time to reflect off of that or understand where both of y'all are in this position, you know? Like, he's acting like he's, it's a big deal, and she's just sitting there like, you know what, I just want to wear my watermelon dress and look good while doing it. Thank you very kindly. Goodbye. Um, I'm looking over all of your stuff that you've done right here, and I'd rather, like, you know, not deal with your shit anymore. And he's just grumbling. He's being like, well, you're, you Watermelon dress is dumb anyway, you know? Just like saying really inconsiderate things in response. Well, that's your shadow, Taurus. We're going to move on to Virgo next. Virgo. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on in, for you. Mind you, Earth signs, you're probably going to have a really hard time in August. Just letting you know. Some of you might feel frustrated. Some of you might actually feel emotions. <clears throat> Virgo. Just saying. <laughs> But yeah, it might be a rough time for Earth signs in the coming month. Page of Wands Reverse. Someone got a mouth. Someone impulsively runs their mouth a lot. It doesn't think about what they're saying. Especially when it comes to the separation with the Lovers Reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries, and Gemini on the board. Oh, because some secrets came out, so they're just mad. <laughs> they're just mad they got caught up in their shit. Pisces or Cancer. We almost have everybody up here, Virgo. Hmm. Let's see. Like, this person, like, their voice is coming true, but in the background, they're still talking shit. Acting like everything's cool. But in reality, it's like they're still kind of sad over the spilled milk. They need to take those cups, get on that bridge that's called Get the Fuck Over It Bridge, go to the mall and buy themselves a new set of shoes, or better yet, a Starbucks mocha frappuccino with extra mocha, whipped cream, and such. Damn, that sounds good. I really want one now. Um, someone was lying about the party in ways. Or someone celebrating because they finally figured out what was going on. This person could also have been, like, doing a lot of stuff in the background or talking to bitches. In my, one of my other decks is, like, nothing but Betty's. You know, I think I mentioned that in your last reading, didn't I? Oh, this person is just completely freaking illogical. They are not grounded in reality whatsoever. Queen of Swords. Okay, so pretty much everybody is out on the board, except for the other Earth signs. But whoever it is you're dealing with is like... They are so illogical, but they keep a smile on their face because it's just like, you know, I'm illogical, but I'm getting what I want. But in the background of what they want, it's like it's because they based it on a bunch of bullshit. Smear campaigning, acting like a dick, you know, um, his feet stinks and he's not trustworthy, right? But they're moping. Because um, they aren't getting an offer that they thought they were going to get. That could also be you dealing with this as well, Virgo. I feel like this is someone you're dealing with more than anything. You're, like, considering them very harshly. Hmm. Magician's here. Yeah, there's no options with this person, so you're just gonna have to, like... Yeah. Ooh. Two aces. Yeah, this person over here is just... Messy. I feel like they're just messy. Like, they get what they want by having, like, shitty attitudes and acting like they have a right to, like, boss people around. And it comes off very impulsively and, uh, nasty, right? And with this moon, it's like all that stuff that what they're doing has been revealed. So people can now have a good time and create what it is that they've been trying to create. However, like, on this side, is kind of confusing to me. Okay, phone. Um. Wow, really? Okay, but it's, um, with the separation here, mm -hmm. someone's pretty sad over it because they didn't get what they thought they were going to get, but it's also like, whatever's happening here, someone's definitely making sure that something isn't resurrected. Let's see. What do I want to look at? Let's look at these shitty options. Why are these options shitty? 
I feel like it was like during a party or something or some sort of gathering that someone found something out. And that's what instigated all of this to get started. King Swords, counterpart. Someone was looking for some truth, but they didn't say anything. They weren't going in for a fight, because that would have been too... Like, someone wants to figure some stuff out. Someone still wants to know some things, but they also know that it's not going to do them any good, because it's just going to be more of a problem than what they originally intended. It'll become a burden that won't be released. It's like pulling teeth out of the mouth of like something with like thousands and thousands of teeth at some point you're just gonna be like how long am i supposed to keep like you know doing this it's becoming very very exhausting but that's your shadow virgo capricorn da, da, da. It's your turn. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll quit. Anyway. Let's see what's going on with your shadow, Caps. Because Capricorn, <laughs> you're going to be the most fucked in August. I'll let you know that right now. It's going to be a period where everyone's probably going to get on your nerves. You're looking for a reason to stay or someone's looking for a reason to stick around with you? Mm, this is the same dude, okay? This is the exact same guy. He just got different leggings on, right? I don't know why, but it's literally the same guy, right? He's looking over all of this shit. Be like, is this really a good idea? And he's still wanting to stick around. He's on the boat already, but it's like he's waiting at the dock for somebody. But it's like, every time he looks back, he's just be like, maybe I shouldn't wait for this person. I don't think you should wait for anybody. Like, nobody should have to wait for people. There you are! Just chilling out with your pentacles. Just being like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, should I add it to this one? Or should I just take it and go? But if I go, like, will I miss this? Almost? Crazy tasty. That is your card, Capricorn. Also, Virgo or Taurus. Oh, you want to stick around <laughs> to watch a tower? <laughs> You're just, like, like, Jesus, what are you doing, cats? Look at this, like, are, are you just sitting there being like, you know what, it's not me this time, but I just want to see, I, I don't want to be involved in the drama, I just want to see what happens. That's what you, you want to stick around to see someone get a tower moment. But you also know doing that's going to lead you to a lack of victory or worse, there's going to be an enemy around you, and you know there's an enemy around you. God, Capricorns, we're such dicks. Now, you got an open door, man. You do. Ooh. Yeah. I can s All right, I got you, Caps. I got you. Yeah, this person who... Yeah, whoever it is you're dealing with, I can't, I can't blame you for wanting to watch the tower now. Because it's going to be a mind relief. Boom. Actually got three extra. Yeah, Cabs, you guys just aren't like you aren't being nice at all. <laughs> Alright, for your week, right? You wanna stick around and see a tower moment come down on a fucking sneakster. And then you wanna offer your love and be like, I love you, I'm leaving your ass goodbye. But you're restraining yourself, so that's a good thing. Right? You got an open door. You're all by yourself. You got an open door that's gonna release your mind from all of this shenanigans. It'd be, a, I think it'd be a good thing to run. Or you're sticking around just to watch the tower, and then you're going to sneak away. Or, or, here's another result. You could be sticking around, and you're using this tower to hit people with some truth as you slowly but sneakily get away from whoever it is you're bothered with. Because over here, you're definitely looking at all the negative traits, the bad enabling behaviors that like have led to a bad investment right here. You feel like an enemy's come in and you've had to keep your guard up against them. Restrain yourself more than necessary, Leo's card. Hmm. I want to know about the tower. <laughs> I'm very curious. It's been coming. It's a burden. You're you're ready. You're letting the tower fall because it's too much of a burden to hold up now. Um, 
Because shit ain't ending the way it's supposed to. Death card, Scorpio. Things are not ending the way that, like, they were meant to. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna let the tower fall. Boop. Possibly a new partnership afterwards. That don't make no damn sense. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, there were secrets when it came to this relationship. Okay, so uh, you're letting the tower fall on people. Um, because it's like you're overburdened. People who I think you're in partnership with aren't really trying to go to the calmer waters with you. So you're just like, I'm gonna sneak off and like go somewhere else where it's calmer. Um, you are by yourself as Queen of Pentacles after all. So it's like... You probably are being nice to people, but that's because they don't know. <laughs> it's like, you'll come up to Binley like, here, here's my cup. I'm leaving, bye. <laughs> like, it's like the moment that the tower falls, that's when you're going to reveal everything. So that's actually interesting, Capricorns. Some of you all are really, like, doing the dirt coming up in this week, or trying to. But that's your Shadow Judgment Earth Signs. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, you can like, share, subscribe if you want to. No pressure, of course. If you want a personal reading, all the information's down below. Uh, the first one's free of charge, and I do take tips and donations if that's what you choose to do. But, you know, everything else is there, or whatever. Explore if you want to. Uh, but I will see you guys later. You take it easy. Bye-bye.